After two overtimes and spectacular performances by several seniors who stepped up, Neshamne Boys Basketball defeated Lower Marion to advance to their first ever Elite Eight in program history. This is like going to be a game I'm going to tell my kids about and my grandkids. So, so just, just going out there, getting this win, going to the Elite Eight, it's just amazing. This game, one for the ages, came down to the final seconds. Following up a shot by Chris Archidiacono, Greg DeLuca got his rebound, missed on the first attempt, and got enough on his own rebound for the putback to give the Shamney a one-point lead. Well, I wasn't giving up. You kidding? We're down one. I wasn't giving up. You know, I was just, it was just so lucky, man, that I was there and everything. It was great. But the game was not over yet. Lower Marion quickly inbounded the ball, and it was Danny Bodine that got the monstrous two-handed block, keeping the Aces from scoring. No foul was called, and with .1 seconds left on the clock, Neshamni knew it was over. Super excited. I mean, there was .1 seconds left, and our coach is running out on the court. We're telling him to get off, get off. And we're all jumping up, going up and down. We just we knew we had to get the ball back in to end it for good. And once we did, it was it was like a party from there. Looking at the final stats, with Steve Payne and Jack Forrest combining for 58 points, it would seem as though that was enough for the Aces to win. But on the other end, Chris Archidiacono had different plans. I mean, I had to take over in this game. I mean, if I was scoring or dishing, I know I just had to have the ball in my hands and put my guys in the best situation. Scoring over 50 points, it is easy to see how Chris Archidiacono impacted the game. So it is no surprise that at the end of regulation, trailing by three, in the final seconds, it was Archidiacono that knocked down a three-pointer. And again, at the end of the first overtime, in the same situation, with just about the same amount of time on the clock, it was once again number 15 who hit a deep three-pointer. I, I don't know, I just tried to tie it up, and I had to put the shots up, and thank God they went in, because if they didn't, our season would probably be over right now. The game was headed into another overtime, and from there, the rest is history. It's just like a dream to be in a game like this, your high school, senior year, and you get the win. It's amazing. I love it. Girls and guys, everybody's playing great. The community is great, and you know, for the guys to go this far, there's a goal coming into the season, and you know, we're just achieving them now, just checking another one off the list. Feels great. And after Nishamini's double overtime win, they are headed to their very first ever Elite Eight appearance in program history. Reporting from Council Rock South, I'm Renee Washington.